Hey, it's Matt with Vulcan Gasifier. I got our second 25 kilowatt system here. I'm going to do a quick overview of the machine and, and fire it up. Um, <clears throat> this here is our E4 gasifier um, with our new um, automated uh, auger system. Uh, made some changes uh, to this one from the last one to improve its flow. Um, also relocated the the blower on top of the engine so that the uh, the gas is already there at the engine when we're ready to fire the engine up. This will uh, save some uh, wear and tear on our starter. Um, this here is the media filter, liquid cold condenser, uh, cyclone filter tucked back there. Um, all future models going forward. This will be uh, relocated out here to the outside of the machine. Um, and here is our chiller for the condenser. And we got our battery tray and then the, the air system for the, uh, the hopper sensor for the primary hopper. That runs this air cylinder. And uh, later on when we get more into more automation, uh, this will serve as a... Uh, means to open and close valves as well. Um, also, the, the V6 is going away. We're going to a more modern LS1 engine, uh, the 4.8 and 5.3 liter for the, um, to uh, get to uh, higher outputs. Uh, we, we have a lot of customers that want more than 25 kilowatts, so we're going to, uh, to build bigger. 5.3, we'll, we'll offer that on the 50 kilowatt system and possibly the 25 kilowatt system as an option. Other than that, we're going to use the 4.8 liter for the, the 25 kilowatt system. So that's basically it. Also, we are going to add a, <coughs> a heat uh, recirculation preheat system to the auger via the exhaust system. And also a, an advanced, uh, I don't know if I'd call it a monitor hopper, it's not really what it is. It's, it's more of a purge system that will uh, pull the gases out of the hopper, cool them, and then go through a reheat system. And then that will be applied to the, the fuel in the hopper. So, let me fire, turn the system on. Um, that is in Celsius. That's the count probe located here. It's in the grate, or actually just, uh, it's in the re reduction zone. This here is a timer for the auger. Um, when the, the cylinder re extends fully down, it trips this um, switch here. That turns the, the timer on. The timer um, in turns trips the, uh, the valve to put that into a retract position and then this sensor here when that's made that that operates the auger. It'll go for a time uh, uh, for a time parameter once it hits the set point then it'll, it'll shift into an extend position and, and continue the loop. Uh, let's go to the buttons. Um, <clears throat> this is the, the blower this is the raw fuels management system. That's the auger system, the grate shaker, the hopper actuator. Um, uh, this here is for the liquid cooled condenser. This is the, the engine systems on, starter button. And this is for the, these two switches are for the, uh, the governor, for the, the generator. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. I'm gonna let that go for a minute or so. As soon as I start seeing 
smoke come out of the, uh, the flare tube, then I'll close the ignition port off and then open the air intake. And we got smoke. that go for a minute and I'll try to light it um, as soon as I can light it and I'll analyze the, the, the flare color if it's um, translucent um, then I'll go ahead and fire the engine. Give it a little bit longer. It's got a little air in the system. Let that bleed out a little bit. Yeah, if it starts doing a torch effect, all you gotta do is open the the intake valve going to the engine, and then that'll blast the uh, the, the the flare out. I made a bridge down here. Okay, yeah, I did have a bridge in the, in the reactor from uh, the last shutdown. It pitted out. I should have poked it down uh, before I started it. So, yeah, I had to uh, correct that and let the machine reestablish itself. Uh, I got the machine flared off. It's making a great flare. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is lit. So, uh, yeah, from running the blower, I had to put the charger back on the, on the batteries. Uh, these batteries we use are, are for testing, and they've been, been pretty abused, so I think it might be time for a new set of batteries. So, I'm going to go ahead and fire the machine up. I'm going to give it a couple of shots of petrol to uh, make it easier.
This is our 25 kilowatt system running on wood gas. Thank you for watching.